millions of children in the Philippines are forced to work at young ages. Child labor is one of the Philippines' most urgent problems and stems from a range of social factors. Unless something is done, the issue of child labor will continue to affect the lives of many families across the country. Two men had kidnapped a child named Trisha, who is younger than 40 years old. They have sent her to the place where they let children work. Another child named Patricia is also working. Her parents cannot afford because of poverty. Very good! Yan ang gusto ko sa'yo eh! Poverty is the biggest issue in the Philippines and it is caused by our population. Our population is set to hit 100 million. Many people are hungry even today. By this, parents let their children work to get money for food and to earn a living. necessities in life like a healthy environment, formal education, and most importantly, a loving family to come home to. Yet, poverty hinders the child to any of the things and forces labor in farming fields, mining shafts, and bedding in the busy and dangerous streets of the country. The permissible child work. The children working are below 18 and they perform work or economic activity. According to Republic Act No. 9231, an act providing for the elimination of the worst forms of child labor and affording stronger protection for the working child, amended for this purpose, Republic Act No. 7610, as amended otherwise known as the Special Protection of Children Against Child Abuse, Exploitation and Discrimination Act. There are some worst forms of child labor like work which is hazardous are likely to be harmful to children's health, safety or morals, and others. According to National Statistics Office survey on children 2011, there are 5.492 million working children of the 29.19 million children aged 5 to 17 years old. 3.28 million children are child laborers. 2.993 million are hazardous child laborers. Example is Alejandro Sorrientes of Barangay Lumbangan of Bingay Negros Oriental. At age 10, he dropped out of school to work for his family. Working children are vending, driving pedicabs, and constructing or stone quarrying. They are also scavenging, mining, and others. Working children may be found in diverse sectors of the Philippine economy. Of the country's working children, 64% are in agriculture, 16.4% are in sales, 9.2% are in production work, and 8.8% are in service trades. Children are also impelled to work from an early age because of the centuries-old tradition that the child must work through solidarity with the family group, so as to compensate as much as possible for the economic burden that he or she represents and to share in the maintenance of his or her family, which is usually a very large one. The reason why children work is the failures in the education system. Many parents prefer to send their children out to work rather than to school, either because there is no school within a reasonable distance of the family home or because they cannot do without the income the working child brings in or because they cannot meet the cost of sending the child to school, or again because they cannot see what his schooling would be to him. Breaking news. One of the two men, Rima Mansawi, has been for trial. The 
evidence about child labor was shown and he was now arrested. Meanwhile, the two children have been sent to DSWD. We have successfully arrested all the members of the Kuhabata Syndicate and their leader, Mr. Rima Mansawi, who is kidnapping children and using them for their illegal or illicit activities. For this, we have filed the case against all the members of the Syndicate in the proper court to put a stop on their illegal activities. They have violated the Republic Act No. 10364, which is an act to institute policies to eliminate trafficking in persons, especially women and children. They have been under surveillance for over six months since we received the report about a missing child. And it was the confirmation we need that the syndicate was indeed behind the kidnapping. This was the perfect opportunity for the NBI and PNP to make a warrant of arrest. They will be facing charges for illegal trafficking for 6 to 20 years of imprisonment. The children are now under the supervision of the DSWD and will be under rehabilitation for trauma.